Hey everyone, Lori Marie here, Mixed Media Artist in Vallejo, California. Thank you so much for joining me here today. Uh, as of January 1st, I am going to be limiting the free content that will be available on YouTube, and I will be concentrating on more videos that will be directed towards Patreon members, uh, $5, $10, and $20 Patreon members. Um, so thank you for understanding that. The free content has over 400 uh, videos on it, so that'll keep you busy for a while. All right, on the table today, I had some happy mail and focal points that were given to me by different people, and I put those on the table, and they were the basis for my altered playing cards today. So I had a blast. I hope you do too. There's going to be two videos. This one's going to take you so far, and then video number two, we'll finish them and complete the project. So stay tuned for that. All right, enough chatter from me. Uh, thank you in advance for your support through Amazon and your comments and contributions to the village. So, see you on the table. All right, I have some happy mail from Cindy and Margaret and Dina Dana and Sarah. And so I have all of these goodies and more uh, that I'm gonna play with starting today. And uh, the only things I get to play with are things out of those goodie boxes. I have some delicious uh, cards, playing cards. Look at the back of them. They're beautiful. So we're going to start playing with those. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the playing cards with a little bit of sandpaper. Grunge them up a little bit. So I put some Van Dyke, Van Dyke Brown Hue in a little plastic lid. I'm going to dilute that. I am taking a card, making sure it's nice and roughed up. Dusting it off. Taking Van Dyke Brown Hue, diluted with water. Painting the grungy side, the sanded side, rubbing off the excess. There might be paint on the back, that's okay. And I'm going to do that to all my cards. I'm taking scraps of old paper that I probably used to clean the jelly plate with, and I'm just putting a piece of each of that on each card, a little bit of underpants. Some underpants are bigger than others. There we go. Good morning, coffee in hand. The sun is up. I have a Tyvek um, postal envelope that I received some happy mail in and I am going to cut some meager donuts. I'm hoping the Tyvek won't stick to the cards we just made. Take a bit of glue stick. We'll see how this works. Just put it on the cards willy nilly. I'm bringing in my uh, Marabou spray acrylic. We haven't played with these for a little while. Let's take the circles and the donuts and donut holes off. And let that dry. I have the gorgeous cards here with the acrylic paint on them. I'm taking a large stencil, putting it over the top of all of them. Some fun acrylic paint. And just dab the acrylic paint on with a makeup. Remove the stencil, 
Look at those yummy cards. And we'll let those dry. I'm going to bring in some gesso and dilute that with some water. I have the cards piled up again. This is a technique that I learned from Seth Apter. When he does his cards, he piles them up, works on them so that they're more random. So if you ever have a chance to take a class from Seth, do it. He's wonderful. I'm going to pile them up one more time. And I'm going to splatter these cards. And let those dry. Bring in my black stays on and a stamp that will just create some noise. And now I'm just going to play with some of the images that I have on my desk here. What I'm going to do on the back of these is I cut out a bird and I'm going to stick that bird down with some glue stick, put it on the back of that card and paint the back of that card with uh, black gesso. I'm going to bring in my tweezers 
and lift that little bird up somehow. Let that dry. Okay, now remember I can't use anything that's not on my desk. So that is a really good challenge. I cut up lots of things and don't use them. Put them on the little card, see if they work. They do not. I throw them on the floor. Maybe I'll use them later, maybe I won't.
All right, I have all of the cards done. And what I'm going to do now is bring in an old book, see if I can find some words that resonate with these cards. I found this one, it says, on the surface he appeared warm. Good morning. Uh, yoga done, coffee in hand. I've gone through my cards and I have added words to each card. A note of explanation in his love of beauty, in his rejection. Daydreaming, a swirl of excitement around me. However, the weaver of the tale was used. A prince must release from disgrace. The privileges of the Superman, no consideration of justice. On the surface, he appeared warm. A flying machine cast a dark shadow over common people. Courageous, gorgeous, insolent. A melancholy and unhappy man, jealous, morose, and suspicious. I often felt her feelings permanently in my memory. Specifically saying, a barrier, repressed anger, against further growth. He did point the artist outside the group. So that's all we're going to do for now. There's going to be some uh, of the white chalk and some stabilo and some dots and doodles. And then I'm going to dip these in beeswax. But we'll do that on another video, okay? So this is as far as we're going with these today. So go create, go play, go have fun.